Welcome back. So to start using Firebase Authentication, I'm going to do a bit of refactoring this lesson. So the first step is I want to add a, a, some more strongly typed uh, users instead of right now we're just sending strings. So we're going to add this auth user and we're going to change the code a bit in the different uh, login views. So an auth user is just going to have a password and email. That's pretty much all he's going to have. And it's just created here under the auth. And I want to go now into the login view component XML file where right now I'm showing the username and the password in my login page. Let me just show you. Right now we have an error, so let's see if it works. But we have username and password. I don't want that anymore. I actually want instead it to be email all the way. So we have an email available inside user.email, right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I want now. Let's see if that actually fixed it. So now it says email instead. Okay. So that was step one. Now it shows email the correct way. I'm going into the login view component TS file and here I'm never going to pass in the use as an input so I'm just going to remove that I think it's some old code I didn't remove so the user is going to be an auth user that's just when I type safe the user as well that means that I cannot do it just a blank user here but I can do you can do a new auth user down here like this and now I have a user available to fill in my information I also need to explain the output, the login output that the event emitter is going to return an actual auth user just to make it type safe, safe again. So when I log in now, I have to return some kind of auth user to whoever is listening. And who's listening, you know that that's the component, that's the login component here. So inside the login component, I have to return instead of the username. First of all, let's explain to the login that we're actually going to return an auth user here. That's what we're going to bring back when we log in. And that, of course, it tells me, well, if you're going to do that, you have to specify something else because it doesn't have a username anymore. Notice the auth user doesn't have a username at all. So we explain to him it's the email instead. So just try and call the login and wait a bit of time and subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of things will happen. We'll figure that out later. One more place where I want to change this before we end this lesson. That's inside the auth service. Let's get rid of the users. We don't want users here anymore. We're going to log in actually directly on Firebase. Get that out of the way. Now that gives us an error about the users. That's because we don't want this anymore. So I'm just going to remove everything in here and I'm not even going to return observable anymore. Out of the way with that. And then of course I want an email inside the login. So we just refactored a bit and uh, next lesson we're going to try and uh, actually log in to Firebase. So see you next time. Have fun.